Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How you all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrow's Intensive Math Class. Today we are going to be talking about multiplying and dividing whole numbers. In order to be a multiplication master, you must memorize your times tables up to the 15s. Okay? Unfortunately, that's the only way to succeed in this. Once that is accomplished, it is easy from there as long as you are neat, line up the, con the correct values, and follow the proper procedures. So let's talk about this, guys. We have to be neat. That is the number one thing here. And to line things up. So let's start. Whenever we're multiplying, we are starting with the number furthest to the left, which is the ones place, okay? And we're going to multiply that value to every single value above it, okay? So 6 times 3 is 18. I'm going to bring down the 8, and I'm going to carry over the 1 because I can only put one number in every place value. I cannot put 18 down here. It just does not work. It's mathematically illegal. So 3 times 6 is 18. Bring down the 8, carry over the 1. 3 times 9 is 27, plus the 1 here is 28, carry over the 2. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. Now, I already worked with the first ones place, correct? So do yourselves a favor. The ones place is done, so put a zero. Because the ones place is done. It's over. It's gone. Now we're starting with the twelves place. Four times six is twenty-four. Bring down the four, carry over the two. Four times nine is thirty-six, plus two is thirty-eight. Carry over the three. Four times three is twelve, plus three is fifteen. Now you add, my brothers. Eight, two, carry the one, that's nine, ten, zero, one. 7, 1, 17,028. Does that make sense? Okay. Number 2. Now we have three different values down here. So we're going to have to move over the zeros a couple times. Let me show you how it works. 9 times 8 is 72. Carry over the 7. 9 times 6 is 54, plus 7 is a 61. 9 times 7 is 63, plus 6 is 69. 9 times 8 is 72, plus 6 is 78. Is everyone with me so far? Okay. Now, I already used the 9 in the 1's place, right? So what do I have to put before I start multiplying again? A zero because you're done with the ones place. Now, good job, my man. Now we're going to the eight. Excellent job, sir. That's exactly correct. Now you're going to go to this top eight first. That is fantastic. Exactly. You're going to multiply each one of these place values one by one to all of these values up here. Thank you so much. That is a wonderful question. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Okay, so 8 times 8 is 64. Carry over the 6. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 plus 6 is uh, 54. Carry over the 5. 8 times 7 is 56 plus 5. That's 61. 8 times 8 is 64 plus 6, plus 6 is 70. Is everyone with me so far? Yes, sir. That's a four as well. Sorry. Seven, zero, one, one, four. Here, let me make this. Sorry. Let me make it neater. Thank you, sir, for caring. Good job. Thank you. Now, we're done with the, ten, with the nine, and we're done with the eight, correct? Now, I'm going to start on the hundreds place. Thank you so much, sir. I'm done with the ones place, so put a zero. I'm done with the tens place, so put a zero. And now I start multiplying with a 3. 3 times 8 is 24. 4, and carry the 2. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 2, that's 20. 
zero, carry the two. Three times seven is 21, plus two is 23. Carry the two. Three times eight is 24, plus two is 26. And now add them up, my brothers. I've got two, one plus four is five, 9 plus 4 is 13, plus 4 is 17, carry the 1, uh, 9, 10, 0, 1, 10 plus 1 is 11, carry the 1, 13 plus 1 is 14, carry the 1, so your answer is uh, 3,410,752. Questions on the zeros or the placement or the alignment, my brothers? Okay, thank you. Let's try it again now. 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 1 is 1. I'm done with the 1. Great job. Put a 0. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 8 is 24. Plus 1 is 25. Carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 2 is 5. 6. 16. Carry the 1. That's 7. 5,000. 5,766. Does that make sense? You with me here, bro? Okay. Last but not least for the multiplication. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2. Skip a space because I already used the ones place. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 2 is 8. I'm done with the tens place. So I put a 0 and a 0. Now I start with my hundreds place. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 2 is 6. 3, 2, 1 plus 9 is 10, carry the 1, that's a 3, 8, and 6, 683,023. Questions, gentlemen? Please, any questions? Okay, awesome. Now, how about dividing? Well, in order to be a division master, you must also know your times tables up to the 15s, at least, okay? And once that's accomplished, it's nice and easy. You just line up the decimal, uh, the numbers properly and follow the proper procedure. First of all, let's get one confusion out of the way immediately. Whenever you're dividing, no matter how the number looks, this denominator goes outside always. And the numerator goes inside always. So 15 goes into 65 how many times? Not 5, that'd be 75, but it'd be 4, because 4 times, six, times 15 is 60. Very good. So that goes in 4 times, that's 60. Bring down the 5, because you're subtracting, and bring down the 2. Look how I use arrows. I like to be neat. How many times does 15 go into 52? 3 times, fantastic. 3 times 5 is 45. I'm subtracting. Bring down the 8 immediately. i got to borrow 1 from the 5, making that a 12, so that's 78. How many times does 15 go into 78? I'm sorry? It doesn't go in 75 times, no. 15 goes into 78? 5 times. Very good. 5 times 15 is 75. Subtract it. There's my 3. Bring down the 0. How many times does 15 go into 30? 2 times, which is 30. So when I subtract the 30, I'm left with 0, and I'm done. Does that make sense, gentlemen? You promised me. Okay. Let's do another one, gentlemen. 18 is on the outside. 2,610 is on the inside. 18 goes into 26 one time. Very good. So I subtract. Bring down the 1. 
uh, borrow from the 2, that's a 16, that's 8. 18 goes into 80. We can always test it out, guys. What do you think? Nine. Okay, let's, uh, 9 is not going to work for sure because 9 times 10 is 90. Okay, let's try 5. 0, 4, that's 90. Nope, that isn't going to work, so let's try 4. 2 and 3, that's 72. There it is, right there on the money. So I've got 4, that's 72. Bring down the 0, borrow, that's a 9. And we already have it here because we did some tests. How many times does 18 go into 90? 5, Five times on the money, which is minus 90. And that is how you do this. Does that make sense, my brothers? Okay. We're running out of time right now, so I want you to do these last two on your own. And please follow the directions of your homework. And we'll go over the homework tomorrow. And also, please remember, check the calendar, because tomorrow we have a multiplication quiz. Thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot, and have a great day.